Hey now Deadheads, here we are once again. What an amazing year it has been for Grateful Dead releases on vinyl. It feels like it's just one after another. And uh, today we've got a really special one. At the time I'm recording this, we're just a few days away from Dead & Company performing a 51st anniversary concert at Cornell's Barton Hall. Now anyone who's a Grateful Dead fan knows 5877, probably one of the most famous dates in Grateful Dead history. If you've been following this channel, you know I've shared these two records before, uh, Cornell 77 Volume 1 and Volume 2 put out as a bootleg, first in uh, 2015 on the Darwinism in the Falklands bootleg label. I think they're based out of Italy. They've done a few different color pressings over the year, but today we've got a, a special record I've been chasing for some time, and that is the non-bootleg. The officially released Grateful Dead Productions Dead.net store release of Cornell 77, the holy grail of Grateful Dead concerts on vinyl. If you're like me, you've been looking for this for quite some time, you know that uh, the price that it commands on the internet is pretty expensive. Uh, whether you're looking on Discogs, eBay, uh, usually about $500 is what you would expect to pay. Whether you were looking for the original 2017 release, the Record Store Day release, that was on 180 gram vinyl, if I remember correctly, that was pressed at 7,700 copies to commemorate May 1977. And then they did another run a year later in 2018. Not sure how many copies that was, but that was the 140 gram vinyl edition. I believe the difference between 2017 and 2018. 2017 it was all these uh, kind of teal pieces right here uh, were more gold. This is the 2023 edition. I'm sure a lot of you picked it up as well when it went back in stock. You know, having chased this for some time, knowing how expensive it is. Similar to the uh, 1972 uh, Vanita Sunshine Daydream release, a really expensive vinyl box set. So it's really, really cool. I'm really grateful that they're putting this back in print. So let's take a look at it. Let's open it up. As you can see, here's the front. No, no gold shiny on the front of this one. But then when we open up, you see on the inside cover, a little bit different from the recent uh, Boston Garden release and then the uh, Buffalo release of 5977 that came out a couple years ago on Record Store Day. Uh, this has got printing on the inside of the front cover, a nice little touch, a nice little detail that they've included here. When we take a look at the vinyl, the, uh, the labels are pretty much what you would expect given the Record Store Day releases, the, the previous releases of uh, 5777 and 5977, Boston and Buffalo. Um, and then as we flip over to the 10th side, uh, there is a um, etching on the 10th side of this release. So it's nine sides of music, and then the 10th side is just a pretty etching for us to look at. Um, you might notice uh, the difference between... You might notice the difference between this release, the, the bootleg release. This was four records, eight sides of music, and now we've got um, nine sides of music on the official release. Uh, why is that? It's because they put it in the wrong order on the bootleg release. They rearranged the uh, songs a little bit so that they could fit it, you know, make it a little bit more economical and just have four records instead of five. Uh, but you know, Grateful Dead Productions, Dead.net, they're not sparing any expenses. They're making sure that they're putting out quality product, but also in the right order, which I'm very grateful for. I'm gonna run down the list of this release and then a couple other releases and just call out some standout songs. There's been a little bit more requests in the comments down below for more review of these releases. They all sound fantastic. They're quiet, they're clean, they're flat, everything that you would expect when you're buying a premium product, a, an expensive vinyl box set. Um, but what really stands out in you know, each era of Dead is going to be the standout songs. I've been listening to a lot of Europe 72 right now. Uh, last year I did the 50th anniversary run of all of Europe 72 from beginning to end. London, all the way back to London once again um, with the Lyceum Theater closing things out in that box set. Uh, you can find that reviewed on this channel as well. Some standouts there. You get some really good good lovin's and turn on your love lights. Two kindred spirits of songs. Of course, I love The Stranger, Two Souls, and Communion. 
Um, what else really stands out? Of course, I mean, there's the Dark Stars and and the uh, the other ones. Those are the huge standouts. But what are the standouts of May 1977, particularly the early May 1977 Get Shown the Light stuff? When we look at 5877 and the standouts here, of course, Lazy Lightning into Supplication, a really great set one standout there. Uh, they close out set one with Dancing in the Street. I like the Dancing in the Street. I think it's sister song. The music never stops. Stands out just a little bit more on this four so on this four concert run, but this dancing in the street is, is killer and a great, you know, 18 minute, 18 and a half minute closeout to that first set. And then Scarlet Fire opening up the second set. I think the Scarlet Fire on Cornell 77, that to me is really the standout. If you said you gotta you gotta pick 25 minutes of uh, this concert. If you had, if I had to pick just one side, I would say the Scarlet Fire is easily the winner here. And then, of course, the Saint Stephen not fade away, Saint Stephen. It's really fantastic. So, really killer box set. If you haven't picked it up yet, I guess you could you could look on Discogs. You can probably find it on eBay. I think there were probably a lot of flippers who picked this up when it was first announced when it came back in stock. I don't know if all those flippers are getting the $500 payday that they thought they were going to get, uh, but you might be able to get this for close to retail if you're just still looking for this now. Additionally, there was a request for, you know, what is, give me the review of 5777, the Boston Garden Show. I mentioned that there are a few standouts. Um, I mentioned the Terrapin Station. It's fantastic, always good. The Eyes of the World is really good on here. Um, but the big standout for me, I don't know if this is a shared feeling, but to me the standout of this early May 1977 run is the music never stopped. Phil goes crazy on those music never stops. I really like that. I, that's one of those songs that I traditionally didn't pay a lot of attention to. Music never stops and dance in the streets. Two kind of kindred spirits of songs, once again, uh, they just sound fantastic. I think Phil really brings the energy and the band just keeps up with him. Really standout stuff there. And then I've been really enjoying the wheel a lot lately, particularly when it's space into the wheel, or in this case, drums into the wheel. I find that really exciting. That's the, the juxtaposition that I, I really like and I really crave and it, it pays off a lot of you know, the reason why I love the Grateful Dead. And then finally, a little bonus, someone had asked, you know, what about Buffalo? Is Buffalo coming out? And in fact, it already came out. I think this was 2020, uh, the record store day drops. I think it was in the, the fall of 2020, they came out with this uh, Buffalo uh, 5977, the hype sticker, if I remember. I threw out the hype sticker, but the hype sticker said, uh, the day after the holy grail of Grateful Dead concerts. You know, really the, the marketing around Cornell, it's got a lot of legs. Um, in this case, you know, if you want some standouts here, it opens with Help Slip Franklin's Tower. Fantastic. Really, really killer Help Slip Franklin's Tower. And then, um, again, the music never stops on this one. It was, uh, music never stopped going into Bertha. Um, you know, just about as good as the Boston Garden music never stopped. I think that one's just a, a, a hair better, but it just... This area, again, it's a song I've overlooked for, for way too long, really falling in love with it. And I love when you when you deep dive into an era of the dead. You start zoning in on uh, not just a year, but maybe even a month or, or even a tour. Uh, you fall in love with songs that you previously didn't pay enough attention to. And I think that's, you know, really for, for this run, for this Get Show in the Light run of four shows, if you're rewriting history, as I mentioned in my last video, just three shows for vinyl releases. Uh, the Music Never Stopped and Dancing in the Streets really, really are killer standout songs that need to get a little bit more love, in my opinion. Um, a little interesting thing here. Now, this is... It, the, the shipping mailer was not so great. I see some damage there. I don't love it. I don't love, you know, damage on both sides. But for me... These records are for listening to and not just looking at. And so if we've got a little bit of cosmetic damage on the protective cardboard case, as long as the records sound good, I don't mind too much. I, you know, I still have those plastic sleeves, but uh, I want to take care of these records as best I can. Cardboard damage, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. And so that is it for the most recent release of Cornell 77. Uh, it's 
overall looks very similar to the 2018 release, but I'm really glad it's back in print. Um, a lot of these dead box sets are commanding crazy prices on Discogs and on eBay, and so it's great that normal people like me are able to, to pick it up once again uh, at retail price. Now, uh, if you're like me, you're probably excited about 5823. Dead and Company is returning to Barton Hall, so I'm going to be streaming that later, uh, actually in a few days. Looking forward to that one. Um, and then we've got coming up soon, Dave's Picks 23. That vinyl box set is coming soon, as well as a new Dave's Picks CD. I also am hearing rumors that the 2023 uh, CD box set is about to be announced soon, so looking forward to see you know, what sort of package comes together there. Vinyl, uh, merch, t-shirts, tchotchkes, doodads. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what that turns into. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. Peace.